Hello and welcome to my sixth C programming tutorial. And what we are going to do today is loops. Now, loops as it is is basically something that keeps loops and keeps looping around something and basically repeats itself. And in programming, we actually need to keep on repeating itself quite a lot of times. So, what we do is that C, the people who created C, are very nice and created a couple of loops called the while loop, for loop, and do while loop, and maybe a switch statement. That's not really a loop, but <clears throat> what we're going to do today is a while loop. Now, a while loop is fairly straightforward. Now, like the if statement, it's a function, so we type while, and then here we type in the condition. Now, like the if statement, it's going to have to have meet a certain requirement to actually start looping. So, we do this. We put a condition, let's just say if x is smaller than 10, <coughs> or if x is equal or smaller to 10, we run this code. Okay, this sounds like a if statement right now. We can print something. We can do my name is Bob my let's say Minecraft name is alright and then we can do human and then we can okay let's just do guest and then percent D and then we can do a new line <coughs> and then an X comma X okay now, here, it just, this is basically almost exactly the same as if statement, it's just so while, okay, if x is smaller or equal to 10, do this. Alright, now, this is basically an infinite loop, actually, because, okay, 0, okay, is 0 smaller than 10, okay, loop it again, 0 smaller than 10, do this, okay, go, go back again, okay, basically it's that. So basically, if it's true, it'll run this. And then it'll go back to the start and test for this, basically like an if statement. Now, let's actually test this and show you how infinite it is. Now, as you can see, it's doing the spazzing out over here. This is extremely big, and it keeps saying guest zero, which we do not want, actually. And what this is doing is as I told you it first finds 0 okay and is it smaller than 10 okay yeah it is print this okay go back to the start again is it smaller than 10 yes it is and then it keeps doing that infinitely but what if we want to change X and then run it 10 times and wait for it to run it for 10 times then you should like use some logic and then you'll find out we can make X equals X plus 1 so each time it runs this loop, it first prints this, then adds 1. Okay? Then it'll be 1. And then it'll be 1 smaller than 10? Yes, of course. So we print this. And then x plus 1. Okay, we make put 1 into x. Okay, add 1 to x. And then x is 2. So there's x smaller or equal to 10. Of course it is. So we print this. Now this looks really messy and ugly. So what we do normally is x plus plus, which basically means add 1 to x, increment x by 1. It's an incremental operator. Now there is a minus minus operator, and it basically decrements it. But we're going to make that plus plus. <coughs> now, let's run it now. Debug, so there you go. Yes. Look at that. My Minecraft name is 01234567891010 guest. Now what is happening here is what I what I've explained just then. First it tests for the condition, runs this, and then pluses x, and then does it all over again. I'm gonna show you a diagram which will make you understand it a little bit more. Okay? Okay, so we are back with the photos, and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you this condition thing. So, here is the while loop, okay? It goes down and has a condition. The condition is false in the program. If it is true, then run this, run the conditional code, 
go back and loop it again. Test my condition. If it's true, go there. If it's okay, do it. Uh, run the conditional code. And finally, okay, finally, it's false. We run the code, go downwards, and run the code, c cold, c code below. And that is basically what a while loop is. And let's go back to our code. So we are back in our code, and basically, hopefully, you understood what loops. They are quite a uh, difficult um, topic for beginners, but. Hopefully you understood all that, and of course, I hope you liked the video. Please hit that subscribe button and like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.